So in the same car, 2011 Accord, we have a broken engine mount and transmission mount on this car. See that line? That's broken. Now the transmission mount actually was broken in this car. See that bracket right there? That is cracked. It's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look like this, but that car, that bracket is actually cracked right here. I'll show you when it got, I got it out. So first, we're gonna go and support the transmission. I didn't remember the cover. The cover is still there because it, it's not a lot of room in between the transmission and the cover so it's not gonna damage the cover okay that should be good enough for that this thing we're gonna remove the intake air housing let's go from there clip remover That's the plug for the condenser fan right there. Yeah, push in here. And then at the same time, separate them. Yeah, just like that. And you pull 17 for the swivel and the long extension. millimeter bolt right there. I don't know if the camera would catch that, but that's where it is. There's one. And there's another one on the other side. That was the bracket for just right there. You need to take this bolt out and the four bolts 14 millimeter head one, two, three, and four. And it should be it right there. That one and that one. What I say 17 millimeter, 14 millimeter, those are the size of the socket. Not the actual size of bolts, because who called the bolts by their threads? Nobody did. Nobody does that. Not unless you need to chase the thread of the bolts. But as a mechanic, we call the bolts by the size of the head. I use my torque wrench. It's lifetime warranty from Harbor Freight. Use the magical tool. And then the 14 millimeter bolts. This swivel and the socket. Okay. Now need to jack it up a little more. bottom of it flip it upside down flip it and use a little hook to go at the bottom of the hose let me show you how I did it 
I, how I use the hook to pull the hose. You just get the hook and put it right at the side. Kind of go in, push it in, and then pull it a little bit. And then it should toss right out. As you can see, broken. Not broken. Right. We have to transfer the vacuum hose. So it's good. The motor mount's gonna sit like this way, right? And then the vacuum hose goes in there that way. Put the hose on the tube first, and then plug it back into the motor mount. It's just a so the new mount is a little bit taller, so you want to jack up a little bit so you can slide the new mount in place. Now we put the four bolts at the bottom first. The four 14 millimeter bolts at the bottom. Thread them in. Okay, once the two bolts are in, you shouldn't have a hard time putting two bolts in the back. Now, let's jack it up a little bit more. So that way, we'll be able to move the mount side to side, front and back. Just to make sure our thread, our threads are in. Right now, the front motor mount is not lined up with the bracket for the engine. See this gap right here? That has There's more gap in here compared to the other side. And if you try to sneak in the bolt, it's just not threading in because it's the mount is leaning more towards that way. We're going to be using a pry bar and we're going to jam it right here. like that and we're gonna hammer it that way it would move towards the other side I have Thor's hammer and a pry bar Well, at least we know that it's in. So to thread it in more. Let's this goes towards the engine. Vacuum hose is gonna hook up into. And it's gonna go like this way. On this side of the motor mount. Alright, I'm installing the vacuum hose right now. Short and the long one with notch is the long one without notch is the short one short one goes to this two sides we are done we didn't touch that so we don't have to worry about the check engine light 